Hey y'all, Harrington Hare here. Happy Fursuit Friday. You know, I've only been fursuiting here for a few months now, and I still have a lot of work to do. I have a lot to learn. As odd as it may sound to people who don't do this regularly, there's way more to fursuiting than just putting on a costume. That's why this week, I'm going to go over three easy ways that you can improve your fursuit performance. But before we get started, I just want to thank you guys so much because we have almost hit the first big milestone here on our channel. Almost 100 subscribers. I can't say enough how much I appreciate y'all's support. Thank you all so much. Now with that out of the way, let's sit back, relax, remember to like the video and subscribe and get into today's video. The first tip I can honestly give is to kind of, it's going to seem silly, and that's just to move around. You can't really be still in a fursuit. Otherwise, it starts to look odd. You need to use your whole body to emote, exaggerate your movements, and express your emotions. Uh, since our fursuits, the heads don't really have expressions, not all the time. Uh, so it helps to be overly animated and exaggerate your movements. Emote with your whole body. The next big tip is going to be to watch yourself either on camera or in the mirror. Uh, just practice and watch what you do. Uh, you'll find what works well and where you need to improve. This is something I do all the time for making TikToks. Practice really does make perfect here, guys. Just remember to relax. Give yourself some time to improve. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. You're just gonna have fun and go crazy in the mirror. Last big suggestion I have is to watch other fursuiters. Check out YouTube or TikTok and see how they move in fursuit. This can actually be really helpful if you can find a fursuiter who's the same species as you so that you can see anything unique that they do that you can start to integrate into your performances. See what kind of motions and poses and things work best for the kind of fursuit that you have. So those are just three simple tips that you can use right away to improve your fursuit acting. If you start to implement these pointers, you'll be a pro in no time. Just remember to take your time and have fun. That's going to do it for this week's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you let me know by dropping a like. And if you want to stick around, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I post videos every first suit Friday. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.